गुड मॉर्निंग इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट है बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम इज नावेज द रेंट कंट्रोल प्रोसीडिंग्स विच वॉज सब्सिक्वेंटली रिपील्ड अंडर बिल्डिंग्स लीज एंड रेंट कंट्रोल एक्ट नाव आर एल ए टी ओ पीस आर बीइंग फाइल्ड ऑन ए डिफरेंट एक्ट and whether we can raise preliminary objection about the maintainability of those application which were filed on without cause of action or improper pleading without any material the question arises in so far civil proceedings are concerned if the civil suits are filed we normally file order 7 rule 11 cpc for rejection of the plaint so whether that is applicable before the rent control act or not is a thousand dollar questions and i do not know about that area so far our tamil nadu high court judgments are concerned but i have a full court judgment ar 2023 uttarakhand 166 ar 2023 uttarakhand 166 prabhat kishor versus rukmani devi therein they held though order 7 rule 11 is not applicable for rent control proceedings because there is a specific section and rules which empowers the rent control authority only to apply those sections but however this full bench court says yes you are the order 7 rule 11 is not applicable but they say the very same uh, uh, proceedings uh, principles underlying therein can be applied uh, under 151 cpc therefore instead of filing application for rejection of the plaint under order 7 rule 11 cpc you can very well file under section 151 cpc before that i would like to uh, discuss with you about the a uh, difference of uh, inherent power under 482 crpc and the wording used under 151 cpc see 482 crpc nothing in this code shall be deemed to limit or affect the inherent power of the high court to make such orders as may be necessary to give effect to any order under this code or to prevent abuse of process of any court or otherwise to secure and subject this is 482 cpc says that is important kindly take down the difference between uh, uh, crpc 482 inherent power and uh, cpc One fifty one CPC reads as follows: Saving inherent power of the nothing in this code shall be deemed to limit or otherwise affect the inherent power of the court to make such orders as may be necessary for the ends of justice or to prevent abuse of process of the court. So this says saving inherent of the powers of the court. nothing in this code shall be deemed to limit or otherwise affect the inherent power of the court therefore this is wide enough uh, uh, comparing to 482 crpc that would be my humble submission and finally uh, the full court has held uh, that this petition for uh, rejection of uh, petition filed under rent control proceedings uh, definitely you can raise subjection on 151 cpc but operation success passion died here the lower court not accepted the petition for rejection on a different ground because there was a compromise and a question of facts and law to be appreciated by trial that was the different thing here they have discussed multi number of supreme court judgments about the applicability of cpc when there were Uh, uh, different acts which have limited power of cpc to be applied 
therefore kindly go through the entire APA judgment it will be far better to understand and you can very well file application under 151 CPC to reject the petition filed under RLT OP or under RAD uh, rent control buildings RCOP or even MACT OP you can file all applications best wishes provided you have to go through the that sped said special act eh, about what all are the provisions of code of civil procedure is applicable for the conduction of uh, proceedings or suit or petitions under that act under the special code if the, that act has got kind uh, provisions for special code you have to go through that uh, comparing to the real uh, rules also i hope you understand uh, best wishes